Let's try five railguns. The railguns usually are very heavily overheating your ship. You will need many, as many heat sinks as you can fit on your ship. Also, railguns have ammunition, 31 round per weapon. But five railguns do really nice damage against bigger ships. Of course, you can hit small ships as well, but in many cases you will have like 10% hull left. Thus, you will need some other weapon to finish ship. That's why five railguns is not practical. The best would be four railguns and some weapon of your choice for finishing or when you run out of ammo you can switch and still be able to fight. Let's try it against an Anaconda. Ferdinand is perfect for railguns because railguns are medium hardpoints and you can fit four of them. And in huge hardpoint for best effect you should have something different than railgun with no ammunition. Six shots and Anaconda is gone. Yes, one shot and NPC is charging his frameshot drive. Railguns are scary. Selling price of 5 Railgun Ferdelands would be around 86 million. This would be my favorite setup, weapon setup for Ferdelands, but with small addition. I would swap one huge hardpoint and place sir, something without ammunition, like Large beam laser, in example. You can also have their gimbaled weapon, but gimbaled weapon will only target enemies that are below your nose because, as you see, huge hard point is located at the bottom of your ship. Okay, so I had five railguns and as many heat sink launchers as I could because railguns are very power hungry and heat heavy weapons. I also had military grade composite armor, best power plant, best thrusters, best frameshift drive, best power distributor, best shield generator, several shield cell banks, fuel scoop and frameshift die interdictor. Jump range is really bad for Fedelands, 12.34 light years only. Yeah, so my favorite loadout for Fedelands outside conflict zones or long term fights would be 5 railguns or 4 railguns with beam laser in example.